another nice hidden little park. Look at this, guys. Wow. Very cool. Right in the middle of this plaza. So many nice places. They have so many nice places to to hide from the sun and to relax and that is what I love about Spain guys they have these places everywhere and there's there's actually another cross on there look at that guys look at that cross and you got the angels the angels holding the lights and the dragons where are the dragons in the cage where where's the oh, dragon there. ah there's a dragon there too so that must be Satan <laughs> what well, has to be Satan is a serpent Satan and they're overcoming Satan I guess there <laughs> Satanas in Spanish they call him Satanas sinister sounding so you walk by this little bar here guys and they have some mist they have these little misters and they put them on top over the over the tables like guys and they bring mist down and it is very refreshing. You walk by that, you get a shot of mist. And that is the way they cool themselves here in Sevilla. A lot of places have that. And it's quite nice. And it works very effectively. And I'm smelling some of that incense. Smell it, Miko. There's a hat. You looking for a hat? Spain, Sevilla. Ooh, some shirts. Look at those. That is cool with the bull. I wonder how much they are, Miko. This tapas bar, wow, El Librero. Wow, very cool. That is a cool tapas bar, guys. Lots of different wines. This is a cool sector. I like this sector, Miko. I like this here. And here's the coffee shop. We're already there, guys. Della Tribu. Coffee and bread. And today they have Guatemalan coffee, specialty coffee, guys. Wow, very cool. What is your name? Germán. Herman, okay, this is Este es Herman, in nuestro um, barista. Barista. <laughs> okay, perfecto. ¿Y este lugar es nuevo? De menos de un año, tío. Ah, medio de un año, okay. En septiembre del año pasado. ¿Y, y café de especialidad? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfecto. Ah, y tú tienes un marsoco, too. Ah, oh, yes. very good. Bonito. Okay, um, Gracias. ¿qué café te recomienda? Pues depende, te gusta café intenso, café suave, con leche, sin leche, frío, caliente. Ah, he's, oh, he's going to open a new bag special for us guys look at that guatemala and this is uh tostador donde esta tostador aquí en sevilla okay in sevilla and the tostador. ah inefable ah that's yeah. a good one i've heard of that one okay very good so we got some coffee from inefable and look at that guys he's getting ready for us now Está tostado el día 2 de agosto. okay so it's been toasted three days ago wow guys so that is what you want very very fresh it should be some delicious coffee <laughs> That smells great. Wow, that smells fantastic, guys. Freshly ground coffee, there's nothing like it. The smell. Se huele perfecto. ¿Lo tomar aquí? Sí, para aquí. Ah, so this has a really slow extraction here. It's muy lento la extracción. Ahora empieza a salir más rápido. Ah, okay, so it starts slow and then it becomes faster later, okay. Soy de Estados Unidos y mi amigo es de Finlandia. So he's frothing that milk now. It's where is the aquí de Sevilla? Yo soy gallego. Ah, de gallego. Ah, norte. Okay. Y a calor aquí, mucho calor, ¿o no? Very <laughs> hot here. Mucho calor. He's got a big pot of milk there, guys. Look at that. He frothed that up. He's gonna put it in the smaller one now so he can do the design. That's how they do it, guys. You gotta have the small picture to do the design. He's taking out the air bubbles, that's why he's doing that. Now he's gonna pour the design. Okay, that looks great. Okay, very nice. There's one. And there's the second one, guys. Wow. Okay, very nice. Okay, perfecto. Okay, muchas gracias. 
So Miko, you tried it out. How is it? Yeah, it's nice. Well, I love this street, guys. I love this little street here. They've got a little place here to drink your coffee. But I love this little street here, guys. Look at it. And you've got these cool little tapas bars here. Wow, and this place is so cool, this coffee shop. And it has, look at that. I love the work here on the wood. And look at that, that is, that's just muy guay. I like that, that is so cool, wow. Very cool. <laughs> and even the chairs, guys, they have some wood on there. And came out skinny. Ah, look at this. Some interesting lights as well. Very cool style. Okay, pues muchas gracias. <laughs> okay, there it is, guys. A little bit strange that he puts it in the glass, I'll have to say, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. There it is. Oh yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's a nice one, guys. This one has a little fruity taste to it. Not that fruity, but a little bit. A little bit of acid, not too much. Interesting flavor there, guys. Wow, that is definitely that Guatemala flavor I've had it before, but this one is better. And that roaster is very, very good, that Enefable. Mm. That is an English word, too, Enefable. Gosh, what is that word, Enefable? I've heard it before. Uh, it's like something like all-knowing or something like that, Enefable. I have to look that one up, guys. I know I've heard that word before. Very interesting word so he said that the the notes on this coffee are chocolate grapes and almonds so an interesting blend there I do get that almond taste a little bit now yes and I think that little citrus flavor at the end I, that note I was hitting was that uh, grapes probably that grape note wow interesting blend here this coffee is so smooth guys it is not bitter at all and that is why I always recommend specialty coffee and I will even go further to find some specialty coffee and like this man said it was brewed three days ago you're never gonna find that in a normal place or especially when you buy coffee from a grocery store it's just not possible guys I was just showing Miko my cross from America guys look at that it's a handmade and it was made by an Indian uh, one of the Native Americans I should say in Southwest United States and that is a turquoise and we just came up to a street after I said that it is called Cruces which means crosses, and there's two crosses there. So check that out, very, very cool. And I think it's appropriate to wear my cross in Spain because it is a very Catholic country. And some more crosses here. So this is the Cruces Street. And that would be the, on the hill on Golgotha where Jesus died, there was three crosses. Him in the middle, I believe, and the two, well, one was a murderer and one was a robber. Some more tapas bars here, guys. Look at this, wow. I love this little area. We have not been here before, guys, and the only reason we came here was to get that specialty coffee, but I found so much more, so much more here. I love this little section, guys, and a lot of places open during the day as well. So here's where we are. We are close to the Santa Cruz, Barrio de Santa Cruz. Parroquia de la Blanca, the Blanca Church. I guess Santa Cruz area. So I just asked the man there and he said we are in Jimenez de Sisu. So I've never heard of that. Jimenez de Sisu, Miko. Or Siso. I think he said Sisu. It's a little hard to understand. But a very cool neighborhood. And close to Santa Cruz. I like it. And look at this place, guys. It is a flamenco tablao. Look at that in this area. And there, look at that, guys. That looks really cool. That looks really Spanish there. They got the little stage there where they dance on. And you've got that cool little theater, guys. And this is the place, Casa del Flamenco. Very nice looking place. And here is the entrance to it, Casa del Flamenco. Hola, buenas. <laughs> okay. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? 
20 euros. 20 euros. Sí. Ok. ¿Y cuánto tiempo? Uh, una hora. Una hora. Ok. So, and this is a hotel Al Alcantara. Sí, okay. pero está cerrado. Oh, oh, es cerrado. Ok. Solo el flamenco. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so they got the flamenco, guys. It is 20 euros, she said, for one hour. And there is a hotel there, and the hotel is closed. So figure that one out, guys. The hotel is closed, but you can have flamenco. So I guess it's a good thing. And I did some reports several months back where you could not even have flamenco. So I guess we're going in the right direction there. 